sir, it's been a while since you talk about video game censorship. I think it's appropriate for you to finally take this opportunity to do so. You know, my channel has been nothing but destroying dumbass articles in the past couple of days, which is a direction that I would never actually thought of. I literally start off my videos reviewing Life is Strange, making Sony Vegas tutorials, and now I got to this point just making animations and making fun of stupid articles. Uh, I guess we should just take a break for a moment and talk about video game censorship and actually review stuff, you know, just like the old days. I have plans to review Madoka Magica and Toshokan Senso, but I think I'm gonna talk about censorship for a moment. There is something I want to talk about regarding Tokyo Mirage as a feat. Mero just sent me this article and... <laughs> what, what? What? What are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm gonna bring it on screen. Just try to contain your laughter. Why? Why should I contain... <laughs> Is that sexual harassment? Is that sexual harassment? <laughs> is that sexual harassment? <laughs> Roll the intro for fuck's sake. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> so, Dead or Alive Extreme 3 is gonna be on VR. Do you have any gameplay footage? Because this looks pretty interesting. Um, this is the actual gameplay? Yeah, I gotta admit, it does look a little rapey, if you ask me. Sir, that's like saying the brutal kills in Doom is murdery, or fapping to lowly speedophilic. I mean, do you seriously believe that people enjoying these sorts of games are gonna sexually harass someone in real life? They can sexually harass 3D women instead. It's a lot better than real-life human being. I know, I know, but you're sexually harassing women and it's just... Sir, do you know that there's a huge difference between real-life women and fictional women, right? Yeah, I know, but it looks so rapey and it's just... There is no just, sir. The only thing that's preventing you from even looking at this game is your own personal taste. You find this thing uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean other people don't. I understand that you prefer 2D art because they look more appealing than 3D, and I can see why. However, just because your personal taste hinder on your enjoyment of this game doesn't mean that you should not let others to enjoy it. I mean, just browse through the comments section. There are tons of people praising this game. Are you going to prevent them from enjoying this game because you don't like it? I get it, I get it, I get it. Now, one of the things that you might find surprising about me is that despite me always spending my time talking about games that are being interacted with sense Censorship or being censored, I personally have no interest on playing any of these games that I've talked about at all. A lot of people brought up that point as an argument against me in my anti-censorship videos, but here's the thing that you need to understand on why I make those videos. These games that are being censored happens to other gamers for the dumbest of reasons. If I just shut up, do nothing, and say nothing, then when my games get attacked, the only one fighting for it not being censored is me, myself, and I. Now we're going to talk more about video game censorship later. Let's get back to Dead or Alive VR and the article that talks about it, which is <laughs> still pretty funny, but we'll get to some of the arguments. PlayStation VR is going to launch within a game that allows players to sexually assault a woman who is actively asking them to stop. Yes, that is exactly as gross as it sounds, and yes, of course, the game is Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Gross! Ew! 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 <laughs> It's a 3D rendered character in a fucking video game. If you're gonna put your concern over the lives of these 3D rendered characters and treat them like real people... Hmm. There's a specific group of people who also think that fictional characters are real people too. I wonder what they were called. I swear to god, this needs to be fucking illegal. <laughs> Weeaboos! Speaking of weeaboos, for some stupid reason in my People Worse Than Weeaboos video, there are people commenting that I don't get what a weeboo is. A weeboo is someone who dismisses their culture for Japanese culture. Yes, I know! I watched Filthy Frank like 10 times and I only got a boner once. I don't give a fuck about definitions, man. I give a fuck about the usage of that word. And the word weeboo is being used exactly as Rule 44 says. I know that because I got called weeboo so many times. And so many people got called weeboos even though they don't fit the definition. It's about as bad as feminists using dictionary definitions and arguments. 
roll that Spinosaurus clip, please. Any halfwit can conclude that if someone doesn't fit the definition of something, then they are obviously not that. No, words are defined by how they're used. I don't give a fuck what you think the objective definition of a word is, because there's no such fucking thing. It's an arbitrary noise that we just use to help communicate ideas. That we agree upon definitions. Now the thing is, if a bunch of people come along and say, hey, we have this new political ideology, it's called National Socialism, and we have control of the dictionaries. So now we've defined National Socialism as in favour of the rights and interests of the German people. If you don't want Germany to be nuked, then you're a National Socialist. Watching a grown man grow up a bikini model in virtual reality is awkward enough in its own right. Stop, stop, to- stop, stop. Do you have the clip of that guy playing the game? <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've seen in a while. I don't know what you're talking about. But listening to the video dialogue makes it worse. As the player pokes and prods Kasumi's body with the PlayStation 4's motion controller, she tells him, I don't like it, and uses a word that directly translates to bad that is often used to flatly deny permission. The player persists, and the character naturally recoils. We did too. It's a blatant sexist and aggressive experience. Oh my god! If you're easily triggered by sexy fictional 3D characters, do you also get triggered when you dress up in the morning, only to find out that you're being objectified by the fucking mirror? I'm tired of you stealing my life. I'm tired of you making me feel if I'm good or bad. I'm tired of you deciding how my day is. No more of you deciding my life. No more of you stealing life from me. I get dressed in the morning. I'm triggered. We've come to expect over-the-top sexist gameplay from Dead or Alive Beach volleyball spin-offs, but denial of consent being part of Extreme 3's VR gameplay takes the series to a new low. For the target Stop, market- stop. New low. This game is meant to be low. This game is meant to be horrendously dirty and provocative and sexy and titillating, and it's meant to be a power fantasy. You get triggered by it? You don't like it? Well, I'd say mad props to the game. They did an amazing job triggering you, and you don't like it because it doesn't conform into your moral standards. You don't like it because it's... It's immoral! It's sexist! It's misogynist! Kiss my sweaty balls, you fat fuck! For the target market, this may be well part of the fantasy, but seeing that power fantasy played out on this console cycle's biggest hardware platform is pretty disturbing! Disturbing is a very subjective term. One man's trash is another man's treasure. The developers know it too. Koei Tecmo long ago decided that Dead or Alive Extreme 3 might be too sexist for the US market. Well, they are not wrong. Told you! It was the stupid feminists who are trying to prevent this game from being released, man! As if Koei Tecmo didn't confirm it already, this article says exactly that! That is fucking crazy, man! And that's the end of the article. Wow! This video is quick. I wish articles in the future can be this quick too, so I can quick spam videos every 5 minutes or something. I'm just gonna make this blatant to everyone out there. You're allowed to enjoy these games. There's there's nothing morally wrong about this game. Th- there's nothing. This game is meant to be titillating. This game is meant to be sexy, and it does its job very freaking well. If you suddenly think or make articles that these 3D characters being rendered by the game are being sexually harassed by the players and that they should be treated like real life people too, dude, you should consult a freaking psychiatrist. All right. What? It's an inanimate fucking object. You're an inanimate fucking object! Oh, and thanks, Tumblr, right, for proving Koei Tecmo correct. You guys really are helping the argument. That's all for the video today. If you like this, you can go ahead and click the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.